Hello guys and in this video I will be showing you how to install the A5 2017 ROM on the Galaxy J7 2050 and this is supported for all Exynos variants and so let's start the installation now without waiting. First of all, our first step is to boot into recovery mode. So, home button, power button, and volume up key. This will boot your phone into recovery mode. Okay, let me adjust the brightness first. This is okay. Okay. If your data is not mounting or any other issue, you need to first format or directly advance wipe cage data internal system. Everything is cleared. Now there is no OS. Let's install the uh, A5 2017 ROM. Sorry, this is another ROM. Yeah, I will show you in another videos. So I will click reboot after installation. So this installation may take some time. Okay, this is the aroma package. Save format. And let it uh, install the package. This is aroma installer. And it installs according to your choice only. If mods are added, you can select which mods to install. And this is a very useful thing for ROM developers. So it's installing, may take some 2 or 3 minutes and phone will automatically reboot. If it not does with you or if it means if not happening like this, if it unsupports, please let me comment section uh, in the comment section below. So yeah, 99%. And yeah, boot image patcher. Now it's finishing. Mm. And this Nox is a Grace UX ROM, and I know there are many ROMs with Grace UX, but this is very awesome and very means very much for uh, daily usage you can use it and now reboot it means it will automatically reboot ok now let me show you the logo so this is the logo you get I think this was the old logo I think you can ok so white on uh, black sorry, black on white animation you get and logo is simple this one this one is also black and white so black and white is not that bad but I prefer white and black because you know all those black colors lighting up uh, light pixels and then white pixels glowing it looks so nice in the dark and areas ok so this may boot loop once or twice and let me Okay, let this device boot up and let me skip this setup wizard. The ROM has booted up and as you can see, this is Grace UX. So very well, this is uh, not that uh, new Dream UX, so yeah, the Dream UX is also there. It's same like the Grace UX, but this is also very awesome. You go to ROM info and Alocean Max, yeah, these both are very awesome developers for the JSON, both the variants. And also they are having for the prime but I don't have prime so I won't post that. And so you can click here and go to the XDA page and oh but I have given links in the description so you can easily download from that. So overall this ROM is very awesome. You can see the Grace UX but the icons are changed and are uh, classified like the Dream UX. So the Dream UX have these icons and as you can see the camera also very awesome and okay uh, let me dim some brightness 
so you can see the s bike mode also for the bikers is also here if someone is calling you and yes the blue light filter the always on display is not working and please don't use this invert colors or uh, use the color inversion from the samsung accessibility settings don't use this invert colors because sometimes it works and it doesn't quit soft like it's it's an extra thing like okay so let's go to the settings and your connections the sound and vibration you get all this notifications you can handle from here this is the display and yeah so night clock also not working you can use this feature very awesome and there is screen saver too status bar you can go battery percentage and screen mode but it only works on the J7 2016 which is the FI 2017 ROM I will also have a comparison video on both of this J7 2016 and FI 2017 ROM stay tuned for that video and please subscribe for that uh, if you want to see more videos and this blue light filter is also but it doesn't take it on advanced features we get accessory and the automatic unlock yeah, you have to turn it off smart stay i think it works in this device i have not tested the smart stay but yeah normally it works and you also have smart alert and these are some normal settings we get inside let's see if we get the direction lock here the direction lock is also here i explained how to use that so overall this rom is very easy and as you can see it's fast it's responsive than most of the roms for the j7 so it's very fast and responsive and i like uh, responsive and fast roms only uh, unlike some other the note experience rom which i'm not posted i think a stable update or a final update i will post if it comes now in the next week and because of uh, some other updates the stock marshmallow is used and i don't want that i love grace you like let's test the camera if it's working okay okay let's test it okay so this comes the front camera here and this is me can click and front camera selfie like this it cancel the selfie what i'm doing this is one camera okay and it's working and it's a easy cache to go up and down so yeah well let's test this if the camera flash is working oh sorry i don't know i bought it so let me see which mods you get oh this also and in this home also simple mods are there modes and we get simple modes and other modes are deleted and here are some filters this is also awesome let me check the flash also back side no effect and out of flash sorry flash it's working truly so this is very awesome all the apps and are working and now when all the apps work this is very awesome because uh, in some uh, in some roms the camera doesn't work because of some kernel change in this you know until now every rom has uh, worked with the cameras but some just 2016 i uploaded a video in which it doesn't work i don't know why the front flash option was not there also so overall this is very awesome you can see some bloaty samsung milk music is included so this is a very new app to accept all this okay don't show again and if you sign up using it if you are a indian variant so this login means you will not only see my music recommended and are not allowed in india Thing, yeah, yeah, it's not about allowed in the supported country. Yeah, sorry, this country is not supported, so it's not working. Oh my English. <laughs> so and another is video player. This video player I've never seen in any Samsung device. I think in the Note 7 or 7 it's included, and it has a variety and everything. So I think this features also work 
only with some other uh, devices like the uh, Exynos variant if it is out of Indian variant or if supports your device it's okay or uh, use the video player new video player you can see uh, my videos and there are some videos here and multi window let's open something okay this multi window is working properly and let's see if this option okay this option is working this is gonna work with this let me show you how to get this work so if you are having some notes if you want some information from the internet and you cannot save it over so you should have notes and okay let's select notes here upper and if you are from the internet okay let's search about uh, galaxy j7 okay and okay let's see yeah so if you want to have this paragraph over here any information this is just i am saying any information if you want to have you can save it directly here and see it gets saved uh, something red, red i don't know what oh it's like uh, some phone numbers it don't has a phone number so this works very quite and pop-up view is also there let's see okay so pop-up view is looking very awesome and this you can also get it full here from here and this app you can get it anywhere minimize let's see if the camera supports pop up yo the camera is also supporting pop up but this is what i got after camera supporting the pop up let's see if it clicking the picture yo it's clicking pictures so it is sometimes very awesome to click pictures with this so everything for this rom and let's check about the manager device manager oh this is can I delete it okay let's go to direct settings and device manager i, th I think i have used more ram so let's clear we'll clear all the ram i got the most ram in the advanced 7 port which I use the ROM give me 550 MB this give me 400 MB it's okay I think after first boot you will get a 450 MB so very okay then other ROMs and the most ROM is getting in the other uh, ASP ROMs so I will post those videos on the uh, Nemesis uh, sorry not Nemesis Lineage OS and Restriction Remix uh, these all are just a bin beta version and preview edition these are uh, and you can just use if you are a home driver you don't have any sim cards you just use youtube and want to experience the android i will post the videos please subscribe for them also and if you found this video helpful um, please uh, like the uh, press the like button and if you have any queries or comments please go into the comment section and write your query i will answer it quickly anytime i will get the notification and if you want any videos about this j7 j7 2016 having any problem uh, please email me my email is given in the description also if you have any problem please directly tell in the email only not in the comment section comment section only you have to tell about the rom if you uh, want to tell if you have uh, some is important work and your json has got stuck anywhere then you can write in the comments or if you have any detailed view you can write a detailed message about what happened to your phone and it's not turning on like anything i have some uh, about the frp log and turning on problems i can make videos and show you all guys so thank you for watching this video and subscribe for more videos and keep supporting me thank you